how thrilled are you to be picking up the Scottish Golf Lifetime Achievement Award? Well, absolutely delighted. I mean, any time, I mean, obviously I've had a long career now, but any time, you know, it's recognised um, lifetime achievement makes me feel as though I'm getting to the end of my career. But, uh, yeah, obviously absolutely delighted and uh, I mean, very honoured. Yeah, and you're looking forward to the 11th of March at the, the Corn Exchange? Yeah, it should be a great night. I was there last year um, and it was, a, it was a good night, so I'm uh, really looking forward to it again this year. And you like the fact the, the night reflects you know, success across all levels of the game? Yeah, I think it's great. You know, it did men's, ladies' golf, amateurs, uh, so I think it's a, a, a great selection and uh, you know, encompasses all golf in Scotland. And you'll be looking forward to talking about your own career, which has obviously been full of highlights. Could you pick out a few of them for us? Um, always tough, but I think probably um, obviously winning the Rico Women's British Open, uh, having my husband caddying for me that week, um, you know, just after, I think 10 weeks after I'd had my second child, so uh, obviously that was a huge highlight. Um, and then obviously a few of the Solheim Cups, um, got the winning point in Barca back, which was fantastic, and that was the first time I had been in a winning team. And then, uh, you know, to be part of the team in Colorado for the first win in the States was uh, very special. What are your hopes for, for 2016? You're, you know, obviously aiming to try and get in the Olympics in Rio. I mean, I think that would be, you know, a great thing. Obviously, it's probably going to be my only chance. So, um, you know, that would be a fantastic experience to go down there. Uh, so that's probably the main thing. You'll be ratified on the performance committee. How excited are you to be, to be getting involved in that and trying to help Scottish golf going forward? Yeah, very excited. I mean, I think, um, you know, anything I can offer to try and help. Um, you know, we're kind of in a little bit of a lull. We've not had many... Uh, men or ladies coming up um, throughout the last maybe 10 years really reaching the top so um, you know anything I can you know to try and help and kind of ease that process and um, turning professional. Are you excited about the new amalgamated body or progressing now with Scottish golf? Yeah I mean I think that's great that was uh, long needed I mean I think we're such a small country that um, definitely to have the men's and ladies all together is a, a great improvement I think it will um, help both the men's and the ladies game. You've just got everyone working for the same thing rather than having you know the two bodies trying to do the same thing. You can pool resources, um, you know, go on training camps and different things together and I think that will help both the you know the boys and the girls. And looking a little bit further ahead, Glen Eagles has the Solheim Cup in 2019, yeah another big event for Scotland. It's, it's exciting times again for the nation isn't it? Yeah it's great, I mean obviously they've had the Commonwealth Games, the Ryder Cup, the uh, World Gymnastics, so I think you know for Scotland to and get the Solheim Cup um, is great. I mean, it just keeps the, the kind of sport going in Scotland. Yeah, and you love the event, obviously. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been fortunate enough to play in it, I think, eight times now. So, um, yeah, I mean, it is a great event. And, yeah, I think match play in golf, a team event, is always it's exciting. Um, it's good fun to go and watch. Just lastly, looking back to the season gone, people are be voting for their player of the year. Is there anyone you would pick out? But I think, obviously, on the men's side, you Tough to look past Russell Knox. Um, I think he's going to be the the front runner for it. Um, obviously, winning the World Golf Championship event, um, you know, a huge event gets him into the top 50, gets him into all the big events. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's a huge thing. Um, I think he'll be very tough to beat. Uh, on the ladies' side, um, you've got Pamela. Said another good year. Um, she's probably the top, probably the top lady in Europe, uh, doing well. So, uh, yeah, I mean, again, I think. Um, it will be interesting to see.